Hey, this is Steve from SewingGold.com, and Jose is going to show you how to thread the bobbin case, number one, and then we're going to thread the machine. All right, Jose, grab that bobbin case. All right, so go slow. We want to make sure. So he grabbed the thread, and then it went through that one slot on the side, pull through, and then come to the one slot on the top. So let's do it one more time. Can you take it out and just go a little slower, please? In. There we go. Perfect. Through the slot, pull through there, on the top, very good. Okay, and so when we put that bobbin case back, you see the way Jose is holding this? You don't want to hold the clip, you want to hold it just like Jose is. And then you're just going to feel below, you're going to get it in there, and we're going to make sure that we hear a nice click. We have to turn the hand wheel on this one a little bit. There you go. Okay, so you see how he had to turn the hand wheel a little bit to get that bobbin case in. Okay, so next, so he's going to show you how to thread the machine. So this guide, you don't have to go through all these holes. You can go through one, two, it's up to you. So Jose, I think Jose is going to make like a little S and go through two of them. Same with this guide. You don't have to go through both, but you can go through them and make another little S. This is a pre-tensioner. You don't need to tighten this, okay? Just a guide. And when you're doing this, make sure that you have the presser foot in the up position. So you see that? All right, as I go to the tension. Okay. Underneath that little L bar there. Got it through the thread guide. Now we're going to come through the take up lever. Through the guide there. And then we're basically just going through all these guides until we get to the needle. Now this needle threads front to back. old guys cannot see needles anymore there we go and then we want to turn the wheel until the take-up lever goes all the way back up can you make the tape lever go up just so I can show them because I this needs to go all the way back up I just want them to do that properly okay and now you've got your thread and you're ready to sew all right the other thing I do want to mention while I've got this video on I'm gonna zoom in on this if we look at the needle Okay, the needle itself, there is a little curve, little, can you move the foot up or the needle up a little bit? Up? Yeah, or you can put the needle down. There, that's perfect. Okay, so right in the back of the needle, you see that little curvature in the back of the needle? So I'm showing it from the side view. That little, can you take the thread out of the needle? Out of the, just out of the needle. Thank you. So you see the little curvature in the back of the needle? That's to the back side all the time. So you'll know, like if you get skipped stitches, check your needle first. Because if your needle is put in backwards, like that little curvature is toward the front, or of course toward the side, it's not gonna pick up the stitch properly. All right, just make sure that little curvature is to the back. All right, and um, we'll be making more videos in the future for this machine. Uh, this is the Reliable 2500 SZ Direct Drive High Speed Zigzag Machine. Thank you.